I've been living in my parents' house. I really need to get out. I need to get out now. When we see something that you like, we need to act on it that day. I'm going to have to think about it for a little bit. You what? Navigating the rental market for the first time isn't easy. Not only are good properties hard to find, but it's competitive and they move fast. First time renter Scott is a single school teacher who still lives under his parents' roof. He's desperate to gain some independence and a one bedroom rental on his own. I'm a teacher. I teach grade two, three. My professional life is thriving right now, but my personal life has been put on pause. I've been living in my parents' house under their rules. My own private room is a little bedroom upstairs. It's definitely tight quarters. Have a good time. Not too late. I really need to get out. I need to get out now. Scott needs to get downtown where all the action is. For this young professional, it's all about location. Right now, I'm looking at easily an hour and a half commute. And in the wintertime, it's just brutal. And for most of my friends that already live closer to the city, half an hour and they can get wherever they want. Kyle and I have been friends for 25 years. I'm hoping to get from Kyle a second opinion. I will say what I think, positive or negative, about each place. I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> the shoes. Dress shoes and running shoes. Don't even get me started on those shoes. I have nowhere to put them. I have really no room to move. Scott's been looking for a downtown rental for the past six months, but he can't find anything he likes on his budget. I'm going to help this rookie navigate the rental market and get him into his very first apartment. Hi. Hey, Scott, how are you? Pretty good, Jordan. Nice to see you. Yeah. Hello, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Kyle, what's your role here? Oh, I'm just uh, his friend making sure that the place has enough room that I can sleep there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some moral support, <laughs> some couch surfing. Okay. Yes, ma'am, yes. Got it. OK, what would be on your wish list, if you had a wish list? I'm definitely looking for something that's really open, a big open kitchen for me to move around. I would love a nice dining room, or okay. at least a spot to eat. Okay. I'm always looking for big windows. Yeah. Nice sunshine coming in. And I have lots of clothes. I'm actually sort of overflowing in clothes right now. OK, so we need a nice size closet. You know what? I think a shoe rack would be really important. I need something to organize my shoes. <laughs> OK. What have you got to spend? I'm looking at about $750 to $900. Or OK, so utilities um, could easily run you that whole $150 um, wow, I range. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so uh, we'd be looking at places, $750 that are not including utilities and up to $9 that are including. OK. OK? And the other thing you need to know is the rental market right now is banging. So when we see something that you like, if you don't want to lose it, we need to act on it that day. Wow. All right, so um, I got to get to work. Scott wants to live downtown, but he just doesn't have the budget for a downtown rental that meets all of his criteria. In my opinion, he's either going to have to compromise on location or knock a couple of things off his wish list. First up, I'm taking Scott to a spacious one bedroom right on the subway line. From here, Scott will be able to get anywhere in town in under 30 minutes. This first floor apartment is in a residential neighborhood where many single family homes have been converted into affordable rentals. Lower rents mean younger renters they've brought an up-and-coming vibe to the area without the hefty downtown price tag. So you said you wanted to live downtown. We're close to restaurants and a nice little market. Great. Head in, have a look around. Oh, wow. Nice Not living bad, room. Man. Yeah, man. It's about the size of the space I thought you'd be working with. So you could fit a couch here perfectly that I would sleep on. Yeah, I can definitely put my couch here. It was a nice setup just for a couch and a TV. Yeah. But if I were to put other things in there, yeah. it might be a little bit crowded. Maybe. What Scott doesn't realize is this is an absolutely normal size for a living room on his budget. Nice big windows. Lots of sunlight will be coming in. I like the ceilings, you know, the texture of them. Yeah, it does look good. I like the pattern. It doesn't really need a paint job. Like Can't this. reach. That's a good thing for being tall. Yeah. Let's see the bathroom. Not bad. Good space. I can actually sit down on the toilet. I've, off leg I've, I've been to some people's apartment where I sit down and my knees hit the wall or the bathtub. Kitchen's next, buddy. Oh, nice size. Good size. Good space. Um, only thing I would say, the cupboards look a little outdated, but your shoes match the... <laughs> <laughs> Even though it matches the shoes, you know, we, we need to change that. It's a good size kitchen to cook in. Eating in it. 
might be a little problem. We got to think of an idea for the dining room table. Because you don't want to be sitting in front of the TV when you're entertaining. No, 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 no. You don't like sit in front of the. You do not no. sit in front of the TV. You want to check out the bedroom? It's a decent size. It's not too big, though. There's not a lot of space on either side of the bed. Where am I going to put all my stuff? Yeah. Scott's used to living in his parents' suburban home. In the suburbs, places are just bigger. He's going to have to get used to the idea of losing some square footage to live downtown. There's not a lot of room at all. Enough room for your shoes and stuff. I'll take some of your clothes. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> so what do you think? It's a very nice place. I'm not a big fan of the yellows. Cabinets it seems a little bit old. It is, but there's lots of different things we could do. The best way to update an older kitchen in a rental is by changing the hardware and painting the cabinetry. I'd even add a prefab pantry and paint it out the same color to make it look continuous with the existing cabinets. Easy for any renter to do themselves. This kitchen has more than enough room for the eat-in area Scott wants. A small table will provide a place to dine, as well as extra workspace in a pinch. Jody, you're full of ideas for this. <laughs> <laughs> Not just another pretty face. <laughs> they are asking 925. My maximum is 900. 25 more dollars, even though it doesn't seem like a 12 lot. 12 months, that's like $300. <clears throat> that's exactly right, $300 know, a year. That's giving me a little bit of hesitation to take this place. There is a chance that we may be able to negotiate that $25 down. I think it's definitely a contender. I really like the area. The location's pretty good for work. Space is a little bit of a problem. It doesn't have the openness that I'd like, yeah. but it's definitely on the list, for yeah. sure. If this is the type of neighborhood that Scott wants to live in, he's going to have to compromise on things like square footage and closet space, or he could come up with more money. Scott asked for a spacious apartment right downtown, and that's exactly what I found him. I'm taking him to a huge one bedroom right in the middle of one of the most popular entertainment areas. In fact, this rental sits on top of a trendy and rather noisy restaurant. The apartment's big, but is Scott willing to sacrifice quiet evenings to live here? This is it. Really? It's wow. a pretty building, eh? Wow. Beautiful. Right on top of stores, restaurant. So have a look. Most people want to hang out where all the action is, but then go home to an area that's slightly quieter. If Scott can handle the noisy nights, this could be just the place for him. Oh, wow. This is huge. Now, this is a bedroom. Nice big window, you know? Wow. Look at that window. This is impressive. If I thought I had a problem with shoes and clothes before, mm. this is the solution to it. Oh, for sure. Bedroom of my dreams. It has so much space, room for everything I need and have. I can buy more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy more. That bedroom is huge. You could fit an entire shoe store in there. This is only part of the apartment, and I'm already loving it. So let's check out the bathroom, then. It's almost like a master suite. You just walk out of this incredibly large bedroom, yeah. right into a great bathroom. Oh, lots of room in the shower. This bathroom needs a little bit of work, but I think it's got loads of potential. Wow. Now this is space. Lots of room. The cupboards aren't as outdated as the last place. I like it. I like it. Lots of room. I knew Scott would love this kitchen. It's huge. He'll have no trouble fitting a table in here. I love the kitchen. What, yeah. the paint? Well, we don't even need to talk about that. It's multicolored. Yeah. Blue, pink. I do have a shirt that would match this perfectly. <laughs> I do have a shirt that would I match this just perfectly. The same thing. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Beautiful. Right out yeah. on a balcony. Buddy. This is incredible. This is, this is incredible. Look at this. Oh, man. A nice little oh, patio area. Yeah. This is just yeah. an added bonus. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. This is something I didn't even expect you to have in any of the places. No. Nice oh. big window. The living room. Only issue immediately that I have is the narrow space. Narrow space. You do have that huge TV. So for example, if the couch were set up where this one happens to be. Okay. Wow. But possibly if the TV was set up in the back wall right here, I don't see a big issue with it. No. So, what do you think? It's great. This bedroom is incredible. I thought I had a problem with space before. Yeah. This would sure. solve all my problems. Well, here's where I'm going to ask you to keep an open mind. I think this is your living room, and the other room is your bedroom. OK. With so much space, this would make a fabulous living room where you could fit more than just a couch and a TV. 
Painting the walls a masculine dark green would set the backdrop for a living space, complete with a large pull-out couch for friends and additional seating. With the fireplace being such a great feature, I'd paint it out white and hang a TV above. Oversized bookshelves would provide lots of storage, and if books aren't your thing, they could even house a hefty shoe collection. With the ideas that Jody has to redo it, I love the place. Well, that's good, because they're asking $8.95 inclusive. It is near your max, but dude, like, it's awesome, man. I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit because it is my maximum price range. I really think this is the space for me. And as soon as I see the next apartment, I'll know for sure. In a market as red hot as this, you just don't have the luxury of time before you commit. If you see something you love, take it. Before making his move, Scott wants to see all of his options. So I'm taking him to another downtown rental, right in the middle of all the action. It's in a charming, low-rise building that is recently renovated and well-maintained. So this is the building. Oh, wow. no, so it's a walk-up style apartment building. I'm gonna let you guys have a look inside. Oh, definitely a lot smaller. It's very clean. It is a little small. This rental is spotless, which is a really good indication that the landlord cares about the place and will look after it. It is not a kitchen that you can like sit and entertain in. Entertaining is going to be a little tough. And then where am I gonna put a table to eat at? Okay, I'm guessing this, this would be the bed. bedroom. Hmm, your bed. Yeah. At least. This bedroom will fit a queen size bed and a dresser. Right now, Scott's sleeping on a single bed. This bedroom isn't huge, but it's a huge step up for Scott. You know, and then your dresser, how do you put your dress? Like, well, let's see the closet. There we go. Uh, Even if you put your shoes along there, they'd be like piled up. Like, <laughs> Oh, we have a window though. That's always good. Oh, for sure. At least there's one thing he likes. Oh, nice looking bathroom. I like the fact that it seemed like everything was new. Now I'm a little bit worried about the height of the shower. <laughs> Luckily I don't have much hair, but... <laughs> there's a little bit of an issue. I guess the shower's gonna have to be a little side thing. Um, this isn't a shower for two. I do have a concern that everything seems to be small. Okay, this is what I saw. Small rentals mean putting your creativity to the test. These days, there are a ton of options for double-duty furniture pieces. A pull-out couch would tuck nicely against the wall with a coffee table that also acts as a footrest or extra seating. I'd make use of the wall nook by adding shelving and a narrow desk that could be used as a dining table, and inexpensive chairs that can be used anywhere in the room. With the right look, this could be one cozy bachelor pad. I love that suggestion but it still doesn't have everything that I'm looking for. Maybe the price will convince him. This one's on at 825. The price is right. So I'm really gonna have to compare, is saving some money really worth the sacrifice? You got some decisions, buddy. I think you have some thinking to do, but you've gotta think fast. I've shown Scott three rentals. The first floor apartment on a residential street was close to the neighborhood he loves, but slightly above his budget. The spacious but noisy apartment above a busy downtown hotspot meets all of Scott's requirements, but is he willing to pay top dollar and give up a good night's sleep? The pint-sized yet open concept apartment in the low-rise building would save Scott money, but will he compromise square footage and a hip downtown address? So Scott, it's decision time. Mm -hmm. First floor apartment, downtown hotspot, or small but sparkling walk-up? Which rental will Scott choose as his very first apartment? I think I'm gonna go with the second place. I really like it. It is at the max of my budget, but it's everything I'm looking for. I think you're making a really good choice. So I'm gonna call the landlord and see if we can get this place for you. Good luck. I think I made the right decision. I really do. Hi, Louie, it's Jody Gilmore. Landlords can sometimes be wary of first-time renters. Since you don't have references from past landlords to make your case, ask your employer to give you a recommendation instead it helps to have your credit report ready to hand over. The goal is to show the landlord you're responsible and organized. Uh, but I think I'm ready to put together a lease. You what? So I spoke to the landlord, and he leased the place out today to a friend. I was afraid this would happen. Holy cow. I'm sorry. I know you were really hot on this place. I gotta admit, this is really disappointing. Next time we go looking at places, check in hand, and we need to make a decision right away. So. I think what we need to do is keep a positive mind, go look at a few more places. The moral of this story, when you see a rental you love, act fast. 
bright and early the next day, I gave Scott a pep talk and lined up a visit to another rental. I'm taking Scott just around the corner from the rental he lost to a spacious one bedroom that occupies the main floor and basement of a huge semi-detached house that's been divided into three units. I like the style of two-story in a home because it feels more like a house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is main floor, kitchen and family, and a basement bedroom. Go in, have a look at the place. Oh, nice. Ooh, I like this open concept. I walk in, I see space, I see, oh, I can put my couch there, my TV there. Looks yeah, good. Yeah, I like the kitchen. I like it. It's a big open area. This is awesome. Man. Mm. This kitchen has the best of both worlds. It's renovated and it's huge. And it's open enough here that you can entertain. Like, you can have a table here. Have you yeah. seen any of the apartments with two sinks? No, I don't know. So. It is, it's open. Yeah. Like the whole, it's just one big space. Yeah. Like echoes, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this space, but it's great. Wow. Three big windows. And should we walk downstairs? Check out this basement. And check out the floors. Ooh, buddy, I can get my slide going on in here. <laughs> it's a nice bedroom, man. This is really nice. Separating the two floors, you have the place where you sleep, you have the place where you socialize. I love that. That bedroom is almost the full size of the basement. Look, buddy, look how much space you got back there to put all your shoes. You can, like, stack them up back there. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty big closet. And, but that. it's more than enough room for your bed your dressers. Scott said he wanted a bedroom with square footage. Oh, the bathroom. Nice and roomy. Not bad, not bad. What is this? I don't know. It looks like something that an ex-girlfriend would leave behind when they tried to decorate your place. <laughs> I really don't like it. A laundry, a laundry room. room. Having laundry on site wasn't on Scott's wish list, but it should be. It is coin operated, but it's right here in your house. A dollar each? That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't have to lug clothes everywhere. So, what do you think about this place? It's great. Talk about an open concept. We will have to play around with the furniture. The alcove by the window is the perfect place for a dining area. I'd add an inexpensive table and chairs to create a formal eating spot. Positioning the couch in the center of the room would create a pass-through to get to the basement while maintaining a cozy living space with a rug defining it. In a rental, an inexpensive shelving unit can be used to create some separation between the kitchen and living area. Adding stools below will give you an instant breakfast bar. I think she has a lot of good ideas, definitely. The lease price is $9.50, and it does not include utilities. Oh. That means this place could be as much as $150 more per month than Scott wanted to pay. So I need you to think about it and decide whether this area and this place is worth that for you. I definitely think it's worth the money. I really do. So is this the one? Yeah, let's not wait too long on this place. Give the landlord a call. Hi, Elda. Jody Gilmore, how are you? That's going to be a really big disappointment if this place falls through as well. I hate waiting, man. So impatient at times. Trying and... to keep the stress low. Have I got some news for you guys? <laughs> that sounds like semi good news. I'm hoping that's good news. news. Sometimes you get it. Yeah? And it... we got it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Landlord said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. Feels really good. Good job, buddy. You got yourself a couch. <laughs> <laughs> Scott learned his lesson. He didn't wait a minute and put an offer in right on the spot. Since this is his first apartment, Scott didn't have much furniture, so he convinced his parents to donate some hand-me-downs, including a sofa and mattress. Instead of moving on the weekend like most renters, Scott took a day off work and rented a moving van at a lower weekday rate. Roping Kyle into helping him with the move instead of hiring professionals kept Scott's moving costs down to $200. I promised Scott I'd turn his open concept rental into a space for dining, as well as lounging in front of the TV with friends. As a renter, you don't want to spend too much money on decorating an apartment you don't own, so I've given us a tight budget. Everything here has to come in under $900, which is less than one month's rent for Scott. The least expensive way to personalize a rental is with a couple cans of paint. Painting the walls a crisp white will keep everything feeling new and clean. An accent wall in a bold teal will add a little style. And an inexpensive slipcover will give his secondhand couch a new feel on a renter's budget. When I'm done with it, I hope it'll be the perfect space for this first time renter. Hello. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Not bad. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh that goodness. <laughs> this 
is incredible. This is great. I love it. Oh, the paint, the colors are beautiful. You like that? This is so awesome. This place just yeah, no. stands out. It really speaks to me. Good. Let me just get comfortable here. I love it. It's, it's so nice, flexible good. space, right? Because you could add to this or take away from it. It could be your breakfast bar. I can see the TV. I can sit here and yeah. have my bowl of cereal. And so we moved to the table from being in this corner, which was a little cramped and blocked your pantry, to over in this area. I think that's perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now Scott's got two dining areas, an informal countertop in the kitchen and a more formal dining table by the window for entertaining. I had this vision and you took it to the next level. Good. This is incredible. The bedroom. So good. <laughs> so you guys like the shoes. What about the room? This is great. Oh, beautiful. And my degrees are over there, too. So oh. where'd you get these forged again? <laughs> <laughs> we came in just under budget. Updating Scott's first rental only cost $850. So I hope that I've captured the right space to let you grow into the man you want to be and support your new lifestyle. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience. I found what I was looking for. And that's the most important thing. I've been looking on the internet for six months. Where's the kitchen? <laughs> the apartment is absolutely disgusting. It really does have a lot of potential. I've got some pretty good ideas of how you could rejig this space. Wow. Oh my god. Finding a fabulous rental in the big city is a big challenge. It seems like everybody's looking for the exact same thing. They want the stylish apartment, the trendy neighborhood, and they'd like it all on a dime. Young professional couple Amy and Justin are no exception to the rule. We are currently living in a house of five people. Five of them. <laughs> it's cozy in here. Uh, what cozy actually means is cramped. We have a dining room table, which mostly is my office, and a kitchen that is great if you don't try to put five people in it. Now that their careers and their relationship are more established, they're ready to find a place on their own. I work for a marketing company. I'm a building code consultant. I work uh, primarily out of this home office. I'd like to start feeling more like we're both young professionals instead of college roommates. Beer cake, enough said. And then we'll move right into our room. Yeah. It's totally crammed. There it is. Well, the piano, yep. an accordion. Two guitars. We have about 30 hats, 74 martini glasses. I found a good deal. Just couldn't pass it up. This is my office. I pull over my piano bench here is my desk. And voila. I've been looking on the internet consistently for six months. We definitely need some help with this. They need a place on their own, but they can't find anything that they like that they can afford. So they need me to help them find their first grown-up apartment together. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You must be Justin. I am Justin. Jody, nice Jody. to meet you. Hi, Amy. This place is nice. Why do you guys want to leave? Oh, it definitely feels like a dorm in here. We need to be on yeah. our own. OK, we need to find you another place. <laughs> Well, we're looking for a one bedroom. We'd definitely like to have space for Justin to have his own home office. I play a lot of music, so a nice spot that doubles as kind of a, an area to play. Love to have a parking. My truck shifty needs a home. Washer and dryer, we need to have those in the same building. Definitely need to be close to the subway. In which areas do you guys see yourselves living in? We really like it down close to the university. Music down there is great. All sorts of restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what we're looking for. How much are you willing to spend? 1300 including utilities. Including. Whew. As a general rule, what I like to see my clients spend on a rental would be around the 25% mark. So if Amy and Justin's combined income is around $63,000 a year, they're right on target to budget $1,300 a month on rent. You guys want what everyone wants, the most popular type of place in the most popular area for a fairly low budget. Yes. I'm going to show you some areas that you don't even know exist that are great and that you'll really enjoy. And we'll find you a place that I think you guys are going to love. I can't 
can't believe Amy and Justin have lasted this long in such cramped quarters. My biggest challenge will be finding a landlord that's okay with noise and an apartment big enough to house all their stuff. They're gonna have to make a lot of compromises. First things first, do your homework. Check out the internet, newspapers, talk to friends and family, and don't leave a stone unturned. First up is a tiny one bedroom plus den on a quiet tree-lined street. I'm taking a bit of a gamble showing them something outside the neighborhood they asked for, but it's still a safe seven minute walk to the subway for Amy and a short taxi ride to the music scene Justin loves. If they can embrace this residential vibe, this rental might be just what they're looking for. So what I found for you here is just a couple of blocks away from an area that we all love. There's subway there. So you're right on the subway line. There is a garage with a little space in it for Shifty. Nice. Oh, nice. Parking is an extra $25 per month. Okay. This is very close to my office too, so it's definitely worth looking at. Let's have a look. Great. Great. I'll show you what's going on up here. Most renters prefer the upstairs unit since you don't have to deal with the noise of people walking around above you. Hardwood, I love it. Yes. Hardwood is good. We can deal with that. Yeah. Hardwood. Curtains, no. We take okay. those out. That's yeah. temporary. Oh, fair so this would be your bedroom? Yeah, it's not a bad size if you're just sleeping, right? Bedroom is decent. Yeah, nothing wrong with the bedroom. Uh, I just want to show you the office. Wow. <laughs> this is tiny. This room, they actually advertise as a bedroom. For you guys, I can absolutely see this working as an um, office slash uh, musical instrument storage. That office is just too small. It's not exactly what we were hoping for. They asked me for a one bedroom plus den, and that's absolutely normal for a den. What they really want is two big bedrooms. So the bathroom. Oh, pink. The bathroom it's is pink. pretty and pink. I know Justin wouldn't like a girly bathroom. Yeah, pink just doesn't go well with me. So it's a bit of a 70s kitchen. They've done a few things to update it. These would have been the 70s pulls, yeah. and the landlord is okay with us doing some modernization. The other thing I like about this kitchen is there's two windows, so you have lots of light. I love the amount of windows that were in this apartment. It was really well lit. It does feel a little hot in here, so I don't know what it would be like after you have the stove on in the summer. The house has AC, but it's not on. I wish every landlord would make their place as comfortable as it possibly can be when they're trying to get someone to live there. I really like the kitchen. I like the retro style. The linoleum gold spec floor, definitely fun. You know, gold flex, why not? Let me show you the living room. So this was clearly a master bedroom at some point. In the past, this apartment was a second story of a single family home. Now that it's been converted into rentals, the master bedroom needs to be converted too. The only way to use this space as an apartment is if this is your living room. Mm -hmm. So we have to do things to make it feel more like a living room. First, the closet doors have to go. That way we can repurpose the area for a workstation for Amy. To add a little living room-like character, I'd apply inexpensive molding to the walls in large squares, then paint out the trim to match the walls. Since it's Amy's favorite color, we'd replace the boring builder's beige with a warm purple. I'm not entirely sure of Jody's idea of changing a, what used to be a bedroom into a living room. I don't see that as being good for us. Okay, so they aren't convinced. Maybe the price will change their mind. I've come in $100 under budget. All right. Mm. So we're at $1,200 per month for this place. A budget that's below what we were thinking. As you start to see places, you, you recognize what the priorities really are. The office is really small, so I would definitely get the short end of the stick. Getting covered parking in a rental at 25 bucks a month is unheard of. I refuse to live without laundry in the building. Wasn't that far from the subway, I can still walk. Whether or not this is the compromise they're willing to accept is the question. We'll find out. Next, I'm taking Amy and Justin to a cozy two-bedroom apartment that's five minutes from the university neighborhood they asked for. It's central, but at 600 square feet, it's also half the size of rental number one. Plus, it's on one of the busiest roads around. Noisy streets mean less competition for rentals, so if our little noisemakers can block out the traffic, this charming Victorian walk-up might be their ticket into one of the city's plum areas. We love this neighborhood. I love it too, it's so good. And I found a gorgeous walk-up Victorian that's divided into five different apartments. The one I've got for us to see today is the very top one. Yay. 
Now, any time that they take what used to be a single family home and turn it into a number of apartments, the layouts can get a little bit wonky, but I think this one has a lot of potential for you guys. It's got laundry in the basement. Mm -hmm. There is parking in the back. Let's go have a peek. They'll love the location, but are they willing to give up square footage to live here? So, initial thoughts. Where's the kitchen? <laughs> so the kitchen is the area that needs the most work. Walk up the stairs and you see the tiny kitchen with all the clutter. That was kind of a punch in the face. It has a double sink, but it has no counter space. What you do get with this area is the open concept, which makes the whole space feel bigger. I like the open concept. Let's talk about the living area. OK, so we would call this cozy, but in a great area like this, sometimes you have to go with a smaller space in order to be able to enjoy the area. It's like a trade-off. What do you think is behind door number two? Please don't tell me that's the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, it is a bathroom. Yes, it is. There's it's one of two bathrooms in this place. Whoa. That's a perk that you don't very often get, mm -hmm. um, and, it's a, and it's a good one. The other bathroom is just through the office, so we'll see it over here. This den is so tight right now with unbelievable clutter. I, I don't know how anyone gets anything done in here. If you remove even half of the stuff the current tenants have, then I think it would be manageable, maybe. This is a very standard size den. Yeah, we could make it work here. And it's large enough for a music room, too. And then the washroom is right off of here. Washroom number two. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's tight, but it's usable. It's got a shower. That helps. If you were just using a bedroom as a bedroom, how's this? The bedroom's fine. It would fit all of our furniture. Loads of places have bedrooms that are quite a bit smaller than that one, so if they can't make this one work, then we've really got our work cut out for us. The best part is the patio. How's this for a patio? Wow. This I like. Patio is the best part about the apartment. There aren't that many apartments in the city that have a deck that's this big. Amy and Justin need to realize that with every apartment, there are some things you like. I love the deck. And some things you don't. Kitchen, really tiny. It might be small, but that kitchen has potential. I took them in for a closer look. I've got some pretty good ideas of how you could rejig this space to work for you. While I can't add square footage, I can easily add more counter space. As a renter, you don't want to invest in fixed countertops that you can't take with you, so I'd suggest some portable counter space with built-in storage underneath. Custom cabinetry is out of the question on a renter's budget, so I'd bump up the storage potential of this kitchen with inexpensive open shelving. Jody's idea of adding more counter space is definitely something that I can see working for us. And I came in bang on your budget. So $1,300, including utilities and including parking. Perfect. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to a fabulous area, the higher the prices are. So I was expecting for a place like this that they'd have to spend a couple extra hundred bucks. When I first walked into the place, I thought, oh, this place is small. It's disgusting. It hasn't been cleaned in a very long time. What renters need to know is you can put a clause into your contract that asks the landlord to take care of cleaning the place before you move in. Wait until Amy and Justin lay eyes on the spacious and spotless apartment I'm showing them next. It has the two good-sized bedrooms they're really looking for. Plus, it's smack dab in the middle of their dream neighborhood. This area has it all. Only problem is, two bedrooms in this neck of the woods rent for close to $2,000 a month. But I found them a spacious apartment on a quiet side street. There's just one little problem. You're in a basement apartment. Amy hates basements. That's something I wish I'd known days ago. So as I got you into one of your favorite neighborhoods, there's public transportation right at the doorstep, street parking, so you'd be able to get a pass and park here whenever you want. OK. Let's check Go it out. In. So come on in. Really nice natural light. This is one of the tallest basements I've ever seen, so it doesn't feel like a basement. Coin off laundry, so that takes care of something on your wish list. It's fine, yeah. So come check out the bedroom. Wow, small. So smaller bedroom than you're used to, but it's only used for sleeping. Well, I think all of our stuff bedroom-wise would fit in here. So as long as we have room for other stuff elsewhere, we're fine. Yeah. So come check out the bathroom. Not bad. How do you feel about the red? I don't think we'd have to paint. No, I'd leave the red. We could mm -hmm. leave the bathroom exactly the way that it is and move in. So the office, 
clearly the brightest room with two fairly large windows. Some big windows, I like that. And I thought that would be better for you for working all day long. I'm seeing guitars hung on the walls here. Never seen a place with an office that perfect for us. Why don't you guys have a closer look at the kitchen? It's a nice size. Yeah, I like it. Good cupboard space, new appliances. This kitchen's pretty good. Lots of room for martini glasses. On that note, let's check out the uh, living room. So, it's a long, narrow, open space. It might be a little too narrow for an open concept. We would need to create a specific kitchen, dining, and living area. First, look to the floor. Area rugs are an easy and inexpensive way to create separate living spaces. A stylish rug will add personality, warm up a cold tile floor, and they're perfect for renters since you can roll them up and take them with you when you're on the move. To create a sense of a dedicated dining area, I'd install a show-stopping pendant light fixture. If you supply the light, most landlords will pay to have it installed by an electrician. All of this under budget, so I'm at $1,200 per month here. And it's street parking, so that's an extra $130 per year. Mm -hmm. um, so it's well within budget, but you're in a basement. This is the best location we've seen of all the places we've looked at. The fact that it's in a basement is making it a very hard decision. You guys have seen some of the best places on the market, and you need to make a decision before you lose one of them. What's it going to be? Quiet, tree-lined street, tiny kitchen, or spacious basement. Which rental will Amy and Justin choose for their first apartment together? So you guys have seen some of the best places on the market that are in your price bracket. Which one is it going to be? The second floor walk-up was nice. It had ample space. It seems like a very family-oriented neighborhood, and I don't think that we're ready for that yet. OK. What about the Victorian? Great location on a very busy street. We thought of it as close to transit. Yeah. <laughs> and then you dent yourself upstairs, and you come into that kitchen, and pow, it's the <laughs> smallest little thing you've ever seen. And what about this one that we're in now? It's in a great neighborhood on a nice, quiet street. This place really has the greatest kitchen I've seen in a rental. But it is a basement, and I don't know how I feel about living in a basement. OK, so which one's it going to be? I've shown them three great rentals. All of them come in on budget. If you ask me, Amy and Justin are deciding between the final two. I think we're going to go with the Victorian. It's the Victorian. Amy and I chose the place for the patio and the location. The patio, I think it's something that they never thought that they could get. Not on their wish list, really. I think we'll spend a lot of our time on the deck. We'll put a tent out there. <laughs> Now, if you want that place, you've got to get on the phone to that landlord right away and snap it up before somebody else does. They might want the apartment, but is the landlord going to want their noise? We are musicians, and we do make quite a bit of noise. Anytime a tenant has something that a landlord might question, it's so much better to be upfront and honest about it. First thing that we're Not only that, but Amy is asking them to throw in a professional cleaning. And possibly cleaning it for us beforehand. Uh, the it's the moment of truth. If the landlord isn't on board with the music and cleaning, then we're back at square one. OK, so how did it go? They said that they're definitely going to get the place professionally cleaned. It's something they do anyways. And what they say about the music? No problem, as long as we invite all the rest of the tenants. <laughs> That's fantastic. We're going to meet them tomorrow to discuss the rest of the rent. Amy and Justin made it pretty easy for the landlord to say yes, since they arrived with a perfect credit report and post-dated checks. It's not usually this easy, but they signed a two-year lease on the spot. We have our place. I'm really excited. I wish we could move in now. We didn't have it in our budget to hire movers, so they recruited a handful of their strongest friends and rented a moving van. We moved more as a party and more fun than as a chore. Everyone moves at the beginning of the month, so rental vans get snapped up quickly. Since they delayed their move by almost a week to give the landlord time to clean, Amy and Justin had no problem reserving a van. The landlord made good on their promise and scrubbed the entire place. With a fresh coat of paint, the apartment looks brand new. Thanks to their friends, the move cost just under $400. We've taken over Amy and Justin's new apartment, and now we need to pull it all together. This place has potential, but it's going to take a lot of work. I promised these guys a stylish and clean kitchen with counter space and storage to spare. 
but it's a rental. You don't want to invest too much money in someone else's property. So I've given us a tight budget. Everything has to come in under $1,000. We have a long way to go and little money to spend to turn this kitchen from the worst room in the rental to the best. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Nice. All right, I fancy this. This is killer. Oh. The wall is magnetic. No oh, way. Always? Magnetic primer and then chalkboard paint over top. I think it'll be so much fun at martini parties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our friends are going to love it. Well, I think it's going to be a great art exhibit. You never know what'll end up there. Way more countertop oh, space. Oh, and mm. the cupboards look so much better now. They even found spot for the martini glasses. <laughs> it's actually two bottoms of a desk. We put a countertop yep. on top of it, so like a chop block. Right now, it can act as a return or an island in the kitchen. You can move it because it's on wheels. Okay, cool. That lock. So you can move it around if you're having a party. You could go against this wall. You could do whatever you want with it. Party time, we move the kitchen arrangement over to the side. More room, otherwise it's great counter space. You got the stool, so that works yeah. just fine. The stools help the new countertop do double duty as a breakfast bar. It'll be good for us to actually have some space to sit. Yeah. More workable than it was before. And a lot cleaner. We couldn't have moved in here without the cleaning. And of course, a fresh coat of paint always helps make a place feel really clean as well. I really like how open everything is and that we can, you know, cook and entertain. In small spaces, it's so important to keep things consistent. So we have the same color running across the whole room and the same light fixtures in both spaces. I love the light fixtures. Mm -hmm. And the curtains. Oh, I love the orange. I love the orange. One of the most important things in Amy and Justin's search was finding an office where both of them can get some work done. And they'll have no trouble fitting a couple of desks in there down the road. We will be able to fit both of our desks in there, as well as the piano, the accordion, the guitars. It's very surprising how much you can actually fit in that space. Amy and Justin's bedroom looks a thousand times better. The way the bedroom is laid out right now is kind of perfect for us. We still have room to walk around. We still have access to the back patio. The back patio is great. The previous tenant left all their exterior furniture. We're going to have a party tomorrow. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Well done. When we first saw the place, it felt crowded and very tiny. And now it's entirely the opposite. It feels spacious. You feel like you can relax in it. It feels absolutely wonderful. This place is completely transformed. It's hard to believe that we only spent $925. I think it's important to make a home your own, regardless of whether you're renting or buying. So investing some money into a space that you think you're going to live in in the next three years or even more, I think that that's important. We're going to be here for a while. We love this place. Great job. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. I think it's a great space for them to start this next phase of their life. I've been living here for about nine and a half years. Now I'm ready to go. I'm like on a mission to get you a brighter space. There's no closets at all. There's no second bedroom here. Could be the deal breaker. What I see here is a dining room. This whole process has really stressed him out. Add a lot of stress. A little too much stress, I think. When you're renting over the long term, the character of your neighborhood can sometimes change. Trendy locations can lose their cool, and up and coming neighborhoods can really take off. For the past nine and a half years, design savvy Chris has found peace and quiet in the gorgeous upscale neighborhood he currently rents in. But lately, there's been an influx of noisy neighbors, and Chris knows it's time to fly the coop. When I first moved into this building, it was a very established building. It's been quite noisy lately. I'm not getting a lot of peace and quiet that I need. Now I'm ready to go. So this is my best friend, Christine. We've known each other for about 20 years or so. We run everything by each other. I'm going to be the voice of reason. I've put a lot of love and care into the place, and uh, I think I'm just ready to move on. This is the kitchen. It's kind of small. It took me about 22 hours to paint. Here is my living room. It's been painted a couple of times. And over this way is the bathroom. One of the things that does bother me is the sink with the hot and cold water tab. So you never get the lukewarm water. You either have to go from really hot to really cold. 
a lot has changed in nine years. Finding a two-bedroom condo in a trendy neighborhood has proven harder than Chris remembers. After two years of been looking for something and I'm not finding anything. He needs me to get him into a serene two-bedroom that's both affordable and loaded with design potential. Hi there. Hi, you must be Chris. Come on in. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Thank you. Joni, this is my friend Christine. Hi, Christine. Nice Hi. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So can you tell me what you like about it and what you'd like to change about it? Um, I would like a second bedroom. Is that to be able to have friends like Christine come and stay over? Exactly, friends, family. Plus, I'm really into wallpaper right now, and I'd really like to wallpaper. There's a big buckle in the wall. You can't really wallpaper walls like this. It's so very hard. hard. Yes. So it's a new place with great walls would be a, a bonus. Christine, where do you see the change happening for Chris? One of the things that he's found in this place is it's very hard to entertain here. What would you be looking for in your next neighborhood? Maybe something a little more um, upbeat and trendy. I don't spend much time in this neighborhood. I tend to go to other areas. Okay. My budget is 1300 I would prefer that to be inclusive. Okay, great. That gives me a lot to work with. Chris has mixed needs. He wants to go downtown where it's inevitably noisier, but he'd like a really nice and quiet place. So I'm going to have to get him into something that's a new build, something that was built with noise consciousness in mind. When you're on the move, try researching areas that might not have interested you last time around. A lot can change in a few years, and the rental market is always evolving. I've decided to take Chris a little bit out of his element to show him a one-bedroom rental in a semi-detached house. It's in an up-and-coming, trendy neighborhood, so it still has a bit of grit, but it's close to all the amenities, and it's on a quieter street in more of a neighborhood setting. Here we are in one of the city's trendiest neighborhoods. Lots of great uh, bars and restaurants and art galleries, etc. The area is really on an upswing. Let's check it out. All right. Come on in. Wow, it's a big space. You would come into what I think you would end up using as an office. And because it's your front entrance office, you'd have to keep it really tidy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hunch you're good at that. Great walls, good for wallpaper. So that definitely works. That's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Since the walls here are big and free of dents, they're perfect for wallpaper. Always check with the landlord first, though. Offering to take it down before you move out might satisfy any concerns they may have. Oh, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. The kitchen definitely sells the place. So completely renovated kitchen like you would find in a big house. The bathroom and the kitchen here are done with love. This is not what landlords build for tenants. Maple cabinetry, marble floor, granite and wood countertop. Wow, this is uh, more of the feel of a condo than a rental unit. He can have people in the kitchen with him while he's cooking, which is something he doesn't have at the moment, which will be a wonderful change. You guys have got to see this. The landlord is planning on finishing this off with a cedar deck. Oh, wow, nice. Wow, very nice. Christine, can you imagine shaking up some margaritas out here? Oh, this is perfect. I mean, to have a barbecue and entertain in the nice weather would be fabulous. It's definitely so much better than I have now. It's God, four or five times the size. It's perfect. To have that kind of big, useful outdoor space is phenomenal. All right, let's go check out the living room. Wow, what a great space. It's very bright with the window and everything. I like that the space is really big, and it needs to be big because there's no second bedroom here. So what I'm seeing is that you would have your living room double as a second bedroom on the odd occasion that you've got someone overnight. Pull-out couches are a great way for renters to have overnight guests when they don't have the luxury of a guest room. It's worth investing in the best one you can afford because you want the bed to be comfortable and the sofa to fit with your decor. Good quality pieces will last you years. To offset the cost, we'd get creative with a bright turquoise feature wall and inexpensive cubes instead of expensive art. I think I can live with staying in the living room when I come to visit, but I think it's something we can work around with the size of the rooms. Huge bedroom. Wow, it is quite massive. And I love the bay window. Yeah, it's that's beautiful. gorgeous. You need to check out this closet. This closet was made for you. These are all adjustable. It's the system where you can lift, you can lower, you can do whatever you want, and you can create the closet of your dreams. Mm, definitely amazing. I especially like the closets. Um, I've always wanted big closets like that. I do have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of shoes. I have a lot of stuff, so this would be great. The size is great. It's bigger than my present bedroom. He's got so much bright light, and he's in such a dark space now. It'll change the way he lives to have that much light. The bathroom, it's gorgeous. So completely renovated. Wow, this is amazing. There's a huge vanity under the sink. So good for storage. 
And wow, look at that. A cold and a hot water tap coming out of the same faucet. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Pretty great place. It is quite amazing, yeah. Pretty big upgrade from where you are now. Definitely. So all that for the low, low price of $1,280 okay. plus utilities. Okay. So I'm a little higher than the $1,300 that you had said you'd be okay with. Yeah. Neighborhood was a bit of a surprise. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Not an area I may have considered on a first uh, first look. But I think there's a lot of things that Chris was looking for. Larger kitchen, nice appliances, updated bathroom. The large bedroom, I, I know he definitely would like. The fact that there's not a second bedroom, a little frustrating, I guess, but definitely something to consider. Since Chris has gotten accustomed to living in a high rise, I'm taking him to see a condo rental in a large building right in the heart of downtown. It's busier than he may have wanted, but lively enough that everything's right at his doorstep. Definitely like the neighborhood. It's in centralized, very downtown, uh, very vibrant, a lot going on. So definitely something I was looking for. So you know, it's a downtown condo. It's not huge. It's a little compact the way most downtown places are. That's the trade-off. The kitchen's a little small, but it's modern, and uh, you get adult-sized appliances. Typical kitchen, galley style. Nothing superior to my kitchen right now. People still can't help them cook. It's not much closer to the dining area or the entertaining area, so it's not really a benefit. This is the living space, pretty similar size-wise to what you've got now. Yeah, it looks the same, except for the whole row of windows. I'm like on a mission to get you a brighter space. Wonderful. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Do the curtains come with the unit itself? I can ask the landlord to throw them in the lease. So this place is currently being lived in by two singles. So they've got this room used as a bedroom. No, it's a little small to be a second bedroom. I knew he was going to say that. What I see here is a dining room. If it's too small to be his second bedroom, we could easily change it into a great dining space. With the landlord's permission, I'd start by adding wallpaper with white wainscoting below. Renters can easily install wainscoting themselves with some trim molding and paint. Although wallpaper can be expensive, only using half the amount here will help the budget. A round dining table in a square room is a great way to create good flow and there's potential for more seating. Definitely, that would work well. And we could really dress the room up nicely with some of your wallpaper that you've been dying to put up. <laughs> Wonderful. Which would really give a nice formal feel to a dining room. The smaller bedroom, it's not palatial. The bedroom in this place is probably the biggest negative. It's quite small, probably smaller than what he's got now. Um, and there's no storage in it. You would definitely need to be very creative. Definitely, there's no closets at all. Downtown living at its best. Wow. <laughs> so that's the thing about this place. It's so central, it's such an awesome location, but it's tight. And that's very typical of this price range. The price that they're asking for this place is top of your budget. 1300 plus another $100 for parking, because parking's at a premium when you're downtown. So that's $1,200 a year. $1,200 a year is a lot. I mean, that's typically a month's rent. That kind of has me a little frustrated and a little taken aback. I love the neighborhood this is in. It has everything on paper that I'm really looking for. I'm just a little worried, though, at the extra costs involved, especially the parking. This was the number one neighborhood for Chris. He wanted to be down here where all the action is, but he wanted something big and quiet too. It's really hard to find a good size two bedroom, especially within Chris's budget. I think it would be a bit of a give and take knocking off the second bedroom from my wish list. It is a perk to be down in the central location. Is it worth giving up the second bedroom? I'm not quite sure yet. It could be the deal breaker. I'm on a mission to give Chris the full spectrum of the rental market. So that takes us to a lovely, quiet street a little further than Chris might be expecting. We're in a residential neighborhood about 25 minutes outside of the downtown core, but it's only a bus ride away from the subway, so it's not too big of a sacrifice. I'm taking Chris in to see the potential perks of looking just outside the busy city. So guys, we're in a very residential neighborhood, way far away from the downtown <laughs> core that you wanted to live in, but it's gonna be worth looking at and it gives you lots more space. Let's check it out. I was a little concerned about the area. I was hoping for something a little more urban, but I'm back in the burbs. So come on in. Oh, wow, very nice. Nice windows, eh? Great yeah. windows, very nice, very bright. It's nice and open. My first thought was that it was quite airy, quite large. Couple things I wasn't too sure about. 
The living space, just having the front door off of it is a little awkward because it's very narrow. I like the open concept. It'll be great for entertaining because you can have people at the table, people in the living room, so that works well. Yeah, and it's got some great walls for wallpapering. And he had uh, the hardwood floors covered up for years and years with carpet, so they're beautiful. They are. The chandelier's got to go. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a little 70s for me. Back into a galley-style kitchen, but this one has loads of cupboard space. I thought it would be better as far as storage goes for you. And it has a lot more counter space as well in the double sink, which is really nice. I definitely wanted something that was a little more open concept. This works because of the kitchen, the dining room being off of each other. So, Chris, what do you think of this master bedroom? It's good size, big window, ceiling fan, that's cool. And the piesta resistance. Huge oh, closet. Wow, that's like Very a bowling alley. Let's check out the second bedroom. Cool. What do you think, madame? You could have a, a beautiful big room for yourself. It is wonderful. I finally have a room with a door. It'll be great when his parents come in from out of town or for myself, <laughs> definitely. So there's a little linen closet here. Great. And the bathroom's a little bit retro. Everything else looks great. New tile, new fixtures. Duly note the hot and cold Which faucet. Which is a definite must. Chris, what do you think? My big concern is this space, the living area. It's a little tight fitting. Another thing would be not having an entry closet. That's a little awkward. We can deal with all of those issues. In an awkward room, it's all about space planning. First off, to create some separation and a sense of privacy, we'd place an inexpensive shelving unit by the front door. It's an instant way to section off a room on a renter's budget. Just make sure both sides are finished and painted. That would help the seating area feel intimate and warm. And with nice sized coffee and side tables, it'll be the perfect place to entertain guests. I'm right on budget here. I'm actually a little under it. This place is $1,200 per month, including all of the utilities other than hydro. I think it could work. What do you think? The up and coming neighborhood gen, the downtown condo, or the quiet residential apartment just outside the city. After nine years in his midtown high rise, Will one of these be Chris's new home? So guys, we've seen a lot of places. What do you think? Well, the second floor duplex, which was in an up and coming area, wouldn't have had my second bedroom. Kitchen was beautiful, so was the bathroom. I really liked it. But something was saying it just wasn't for me. I really wanted that second bedroom. The second one, the condo downtown, great location. Being downtown was a definite bonus for it, but unfortunately the size just didn't work. And then there's the triplex that we just saw. The area I was a little concerned about also it does have the second bedroom. It is very residential though, so it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. All three rentals hit the budget mark, but the one at the top just wasn't enough bang for the buck. That leaves the closer to downtown duplex or the triplex just outside the city. The triplex, hands down, it's the one. It is quite large, it has the second bedroom. The price is phenomenal and everything that's included was what I was looking for. Wow, you're shocking me because I thought you were so dead set on being like downtown in the heart of the action. So that seems to have really changed. I realize now that trying to live downtown in the central location, it does cost a lot of money. I think this is a great apartment choice for Chris. He's really gonna enjoy designing it and living here. Christine's not complaining either. In order to get this place, you need to call the landlord right away. Places like this do not last on the market. I can imagine, yeah. Landlords love long-term renters like Chris. The less turnover, the less money they lose finding new renters. I'd be really interested in the location. I wondered if we could meet. When competition is fierce, assuring the landlord you plan on staying for the long haul might tip the scale in your favor. Well, everything's set. I'm going to meet with them. Good stuff. Best of luck. You'll have to call me. Let me know how it goes. The conversation went great when I met the landlords. They were looking for somebody that wanted to move in and stay for a longer period of time. That was very beneficial for them and one of the strong reasons why they chose me to be their tenant. This is a great relief off my shoulders and uh, I'm looking forward to the next step. After nine years of living in not so peace and quiet, Chris packed up his apartment and his cat Winston. Hoping for a quick and easy move, Chris hired professional movers, but decided to go with a half day for almost half the cost and asked friends to help with the smaller items. But I always advise clients to ask for the first appointment of the day. 
because when the moving company ran late, Chris suffered the consequences which put him hours behind, making for one stressful and expensive experience at $450 in the dark. Add a lot of stress, a little too much stress, I think. There hasn't been much done uh, as far as character and design goes in this place, so it's exciting to get my hands on it and give it a fresh new look. My design plan is centered around sourcing some beautiful fabrics that'll work with Chris's wallpaper choices. He's taking care of installing the wallpaper he's always wanted, and I'm taking care of the rest. My biggest challenge? On a budget less than his monthly rent, I need to unveil the true potential of this huge space and help it function to suit Chris's lifestyle. We're assembling an easy and inexpensive unit that'll add some privacy to the front entrance and function as decorative storage. The living room walls are getting a coat of bold teal, which will complement the wallpaper. And a great new light fixture will add a bit of glam to the dining space, the perfect touch for a space to entertain. This living dining space is well on its way, and after a stressful move, I'm hoping our design will bring Chris some peace instead of disappointment. Wow. Wow. That's a great blue. That wall is awesome. And she did an amazing job. The wall it looks works great. So, well. so do the window treatments. Perfect. It's very welcoming and very warm environment to be in. And I love these little shelves. They work out really well, so it gives you yeah. the division you wanted. Yes, I thought that the open shelving unit would be perfect for you. It's very dark. Just stands out a bit without being too intrusive. It provides you with some, a little bit of privacy right when you come in the door. It's not only useful for storing and displaying things, it's also helpful to kind of keep that door separate from everywhere. It's something I can take with me. It's a, it's a very flexible piece. We recovered your couch with uh, simple slip covers. I asked Jody, could we get it recovered and reuse it? And that's what we've done. I'm glad I still have my old couch. Slip covers are an inexpensive way for renters to bring new life to really good quality older pieces of furniture. It definitely looks like a totally different couch. That's cool. I use a lot of mirrors in this space because it's a bit of an angular room. So the mirrors add a lot of depth, but they also add loads of glamour. I love the way that you can see everything in the room from any angle. It's really great. And it brings all the colors back into the room, which is nice. She's done an amazing job. It'll be someplace I'll be proud to show people. I like my wallpaper, of course. <laughs> <It looks> <laughs> the wallpaper looks awesome. Now let's look at the dining room. Okay. Chris, I have to thank you for putting up such big, full, beautiful wallpaper. This rental has three huge windows. <laughs> we did horizontal blinds in a big, masculine, white slat. I think it was worth the money to be able to give you the control that you'd be looking for. Chris is the type to stay in a rental for a long time, and that makes a big purchase like custom blinds absolutely worth the investment. These curtains that are made out of just a simple velvet fabric were very inexpensive. It's a great, easy way for any renter to add a lot of glam to their space. And the color just really pops at you, and it looks great with the wallpaper. I also love the dining room set that you chose. It's an eight-seater square, which looks fabulous. I really love the flow of the space in here, the way the rooms kind of work together so that when you're entertaining, you can be in the living room or the dining room and you can still converse with each other. You could have a serious dinner party here. I'm really loving that chandelier. You did a great job picking that out. It just, it really pops. It's very sparkly without being uh, too overdone, which is uh, kind of me. The dining room is perfect, uh, beautiful colors. The rest of the room is great too. It's just a perfect space for me. It's definitely looking nice and rich and uh, making me feel more at home. Perfect. The kitchen. I think it will be a great space. Lots of room to get some cooking done. I really like the gray color that's being used in there as kind of an accent. Everybody looked at the office space that I was calling the den and kind of laughing, saying, that's too small for an office, but I think now everyone can see that it is a great space for that. It's perfect. Chris's bedroom is absolutely bang on his style. It's a really big room. It's going to be my kind of sanctuary. This place has been so much fun to work on. It's been a blast. Thank you. It, it looks amazing. I'm happy with the results. I think uh, it's a place I'm going to be very comfortable in.
Chris really contributed to the design of this space. He bought wallpaper, had it installed. He even bought some furniture. And we were able to do all the rest for under $950. It really didn't take an awful lot to turn this space around. Actually telling anyone that you're a musician makes it very difficult to rent a place. So this is the tour bus. I'm looking for the living room in our new house to be a little bigger than this. This is how we attempt to, uh, <laughs> yeah, your knee. The kitchen was pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is amazing. This is great. It smells like a basement. Which one is it going to be? Where do you begin to search for a rental when you move to a new city and don't know the lay of the land? Marnie and her musician husband, Sean, are finding out just how difficult it is to look for a rental when you don't know one neighborhood from the next. Crown King's a band I started when I was in high school. A couple years ago, we were touring over in Australia. The first night that we met, he was a stinky band boy. He was horribly drunk. He'd ripped his shirt off. That was pretty much my first impression. I was horrified. I don't think we were going to talk about that. <laughs> Soon enough, she moved to Canada, and we were married like three months after that. Yeah, we don't. Uh, <laughs> That's how we do things, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, very impulsive. <laughs> when Sean's band landed a record deal in a new city, they packed up the tour bus and moved cross country. My band owns a school bus converted into a tour bus, so we figured, hell, let's we'll drive it across the country. This is the bus. I'm looking for the living room in our new house to be a little bigger than this. This is my bed on tour. And um, my bed. Yeah. This is my privacy right here. Yeah. That's my privacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how we attempt to, uh, <laughs> yeah, your knee, yeah. <laughs> this isn't ideal. We need, we need an apartment. Yeah. It's a bus full of... Snoring. Snoring. Men. Slurring. <laughs> slobbering. Stinky boys. Now they need me to introduce them to a neighborhood they'll love and a rental large enough for them and the occasional band practice. Hi! Hey! Nice to finally meet you. So you guys need a place like pronto. ASAP would be great. OK. Yeah. <laughs> Who does this place have to accommodate? Um, we actually have a couple of my bandmates that yeah. are going to be moving That's in with us. That's why we need a lot of space. We have a small dog, so okay. uh, we also so need to. So four people, a dog. a dog. I think we want a place that's near uh, public transit so Marnie can get to work uh, easily in a cool neighborhood where we can walk out the front door, go you know, have dinner you know, around the block. I went to bathrooms for a bit of space, living with three guys. Definitely in sweet laundry as well. And a safe neighborhood. These guys travel a lot. They go on tour, and um, they're away a fair bit, so feeling really safe. Uh, with me and my dog is really important too. We want to keep everything under about $2,000 a month, plus utilities. Yes. Okay. So. And I'll be able to give you some fairly good guidance on what neighborhoods I feel you would be safe in. Yeah, our dog's not much of a guard dog. It's probably great, so. <laughs> what have you got? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure meeting you guys, Amazing. and I think this is going to be fun. Sean and Marnie have been trying to find a rental, not knowing the neighborhoods here, and they're on a serious deadline. When you're new to a city, word of mouth goes a long way. Talk to staff of stores and restaurants in neighborhoods that might be of interest. They'll give you an honest opinion about the safety of the area. I'm taking Sean and Marnie to a central spot that's tucked between two coveted neighborhoods, a downtown college area with a hip urban vibe and a more upscale trendy neighborhood, so safety shouldn't be an issue. The rental is a three bedroom that occupies the upper two floors of a semi-detached house that has two other apartments within and shared laundry in the basement. This is a three bedroom semi-detached in an area we love. Bit of a busy street, but that means you've got 24 hour transit right at your door. Let's have a look inside. The foyer downstairs, the doors go into another apartment or? Uh, they do. The landlord actually lives on the main floor. I'm always coming home late at night. I don't want to make too much noise. What do you guys think about the kitchen? There's not a lot of counter space. No dishwasher, which oh. means that I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> There's not a lot of counter space, but having the table in the kitchen, I think, would give us the space we'd need. All right, let's keep looking. Bathroom's right here. It's big. Yeah, there's plenty of room. One bathroom. Place. One bathroom, yeah. With there only being one bathroom would mean that I would have to share with three other guys, which could get a little messy. 
So I think this bedroom would be one of the boys? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't need much space. So this is the only bedroom on this floor. The other um. two are upstairs. Different. Yeah. I find it claustrophobic. The slanted ceiling uh, takes away some of the space in the room and would make it difficult for us to fit our furniture. Now, this room and the room on the other side of the staircase are pretty much the mirror image of each other. What makes this room different and the reason why I think this should be your room is because it has access to the rooftop terrace. Watch your hide, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. How would you feel about everyone coming through our bedroom to Oh, Here's yeah. The deck. Not so hot. I'm not cool with that. The rooftop deck's a major selling feature. It's got a wicked view. With the boys partying at all hours of the night while I'm sleeping, because I have to get up for work the next day. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. Yeah. There is another solution. You guys could use the living room as your hmm. bedroom. And it's on the main floor, which might even be better for the dog. Hmm. Way, way better for the dog. Oh, wow. It is the biggest room in the house. Is closet? this a closet? It's like a mini closet. Yeah. I think because it's so big, you could do a lot with this room. I'd start by positioning the bed against the far wall with a funky light fixture above. The perfect way to add a bit of glam to a bedroom in a rental. On the adjacent wall, we could create a vanity area for Marnie by using a repurposed desk with a mirror above. When you're sharing a rental with roommates, try to make use of whatever personal space you have. With some wallpaper and a clean color palette, we'd create a hotel chic vibe. The room allows us to have a little more privacy as a married couple living with two single guys, uh, which would be great. Three single guys if he gets in trouble. <laughs> the ticket price is a little bit over your budget of $2,000 at $2,100. Mm. But that includes everything, heat, hydro, water, internet. Was this something to think about? Yeah. We're right in between two amazing neighborhoods. Uh, it's safe, there's tons of families around. We love the balcony. It's a little bit more expensive, it's over top of a landlord, and it doesn't have a second bathroom. So I guess we'll see if location is really number one to them. Since Marnie and Sean are a married couple moving in with roommates, they need space. To get it, we need to go just a little bit north of the downtown core to a residential neighborhood. It's a safe area with lots of single family homes, but it's urban enough that it's close to its own little strip of restaurants and stores. Because it's outside of the city center, it's about a seven minute walk to a bus that takes you to the subway. I wanted to show them an entire detached house though, to find out if they're willing to sacrifice location for space. Guys, I found you a whole detached house. And we're only a couple of blocks to a pretty major street with some good restaurants. This place has a lot of pluses. Let's have a look inside, okay? Sure. So it's got a fairly modern kitchen. You walk right into the kitchen in this house, and that's kind of neat. The kitchen was pretty nice. Yeah. Green countertops are a bit different. Retro. Yeah, we could definitely make a feast in here. Great, let's carry on. Great. So this is like a combination living dining. Yeah, this is nice. Fireplace? Fireplace, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little romance? I think we could do some really cool things with it. When there isn't enough room in a rental for a sofa and chairs, a great alternative is four oversized comfy chairs with a round coffee table in the center. That would leave enough space for a much needed dining area. We'd paint up the fireplace in a clean white to get rid of the dated stone and install one wall of a bold striped wallpaper to evoke a rocker chic tone. Paint and wallpaper are easy do-it-yourself projects as long as the landlord agrees. So here's the bathroom. Wow, small. Very small. This bathroom is very, very small. It's tiny. But there's another one downstairs. Oh, OK. There's lots of counter space, though, which I love. So there's two bedrooms up here, and they're pretty much exactly the same size. They've both got hardwood floor, same size closets, and they've both got windows to the backyard. The rooms on the main floor are a little small. These don't look like master bedrooms to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might be more interested in the bedroom that's downstairs. Oh, great. Two closets. Excellent. There you go, his and hers. <laughs> Good stuff. Come see the rec room. Oh, sure. Wow. There was the possibility that I could jam with my band in the basement. I'm guessing it'd be too loud to do that, and 
I think that the big room in the basement would probably just end up being the bedroom anyways. I definitely see the rec room as a band room. I definitely see the rec room as a bedroom. But I'm not going to win that one. This place has laundry, and you couldn't ask yeah. for a safer neighborhood. The landlord's asking $16.50 plus utilities, so it's well under budget. The reason I think that it's inexpensive is the location. So I'll find out whether size and money talks louder than neighborhood. A trendy neighborhood doesn't always mean looking right in the heart of a city. When you're moving to a new place, research up-and-coming neighborhoods, which tend to be popular with local renters. You can often find a better deal, and the area might be just as hip as the more well-known central ones. The rental I found is in a semi-detached house with a front porch in a safe neighborhood. Sean, Marnie, and the bandmates would have access to the entire place. All right, guys, I brought you to one of the city's most up-and-coming neighborhoods, very close to public transit. So I think it's worth having a look. Let's check it out. We wanted to definitely be a little bit more central. Come on in, guys. The main floor is really open. Yeah, um, looks like be a good hangout for sure. I want to show you guys the kitchen. Great. This is a huge kitchen. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Very retro. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely outdated. Um... And the kitchen's where the best parties are, so it's got to be nice. It's got the gas stove, which is wonderful for cooking on. Nice size fridge with the bottom loader. It's got a dishwasher. Great. Which is good when there's going to yes. be guys around. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of this breakfast bar in the kitchen, because this means that we don't have to have a dining room with the living room out there. So oh, does it? This would serve your purpose? This, yeah, this would be great. I've got some pretty good ideas of how to bring this place to the new millennium. You don't need to do a reno in a rental kitchen to update the look. We could pull out the old backsplash and install pieces of laminate floor on the wall instead. It easily clicks together and it's quicker than wallpaper. It's also simple to take down and can be reused. So the landlord should have no problems there. We'd paint out the cabinets in a dark color for contrast and add some new pulls. Bamboo blinds would complete the look for a big change on a low budget. The other fabulous thing about this place is there's an extra bathroom when you're sharing a place with boys. Great. Let's see the bedrooms. Okay. So this is the second biggest room. This won't be our room. I think yeah. it's given that you guys get the master. Yeah. I think that not having a closet in the room might make it a little difficult, makes the room seem smaller than it actually is. We'll have to see what the guys think about that. Want to see the bathroom? Yeah. That's the bathroom. It's small. Where's all your stuff going to go, Marty? I love the size of the mirror. It's a great mirror, so. Very he does amazing. hog the mirror, I do have to say. Like this, wings out. <laughs> but I'm checking out the pipes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huge guns. So, guys, this is the smallest of the bedrooms. No closet, and it's obviously currently used as a storage room. Right. It's definitely small. Wow. Yeah, this room totally works for me. The closets are amazing, tons of space. We loved the master bedroom. That was perfect for us. The great thing about this place is there's actually a usable basement. This is great. It smells like a basement, but basement's a definite uh, bonus. We could jam quietly down here, probably. There is laundry down here as yes. well. Great. Yes. The ceilings are extra low down there, so. So okay. you're the only one that can do laundry. <laughs> Joking. I don't know that I would feel our lives separated from the band as much as I would like. The basement does definitely help. All that for $1,800 plus utilities is pretty bang on what you were looking for. I think we're a little further out of Central, which is why it's a little bit less than other places we're looking at. What do you guys think? I've shown Sean and Marnie three great rentals. Two floors of a centrally located shared semi, free reign of a residential detached house, or a full semi in an up and coming neighborhood. Which rental will replace the tour bus? Let's talk about the places that we've seen. I like the house with the rooftop deck a lot. It's like right on the transit line. We can get anywhere in the city. Yeah. Transportation and, and being in a good neighborhood is so number one. It's a little more than we wanted to spend. What about the totally detached place? A bit far from transit for sure. Tons of space. Yeah. A lot of space. Yeah. So that is pretty cool. What are your thoughts on the semi-detached and an up-and-coming neighborhood? We loved that house. The basement was incredible. We're hoping for a little bit more of a central location. So which one is it going to be? 
With three rentals on the table, will they stick with a central area at a higher cost at rental number one, or sacrifice location for more space and a lower budget at number two or number three? The place with the rooftop deck? That would be the one. It was so close to transit, right out our front door. All the amenities we could possibly need. This ended up being the right place for Sean and Marnie based on location. This was the trendiest, safest neighborhood that was right on a transit line. So there's two things you need to take care of right off the bat. You need to tell the guy that you're a rock band. And the other thing you need to tell him is that you have the dog. Yeah. But you got to make that phone call and make it yours. Hi, I just saw your place. When the landlord occupies part of a rental, they're going to be a lot pickier about the kind of tenants they bring in. So Sean and Marnie need to convince them that they'll be responsible and respectful tenants who are willing to abide by any house rules. If they don't make a friendly connection, they can kiss the rental goodbye. We're hoping we can make this work. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. So? He's a lot of similarities. He's, he's got a dog also. Uh, he's totally cool with our situation and the band. Good luck. And Thank you. Uh, I'm sure you can put this one together. It sounds like uh, he could be just the right person to be your landlord. After the phone call, Sean and Marnie went right over to see the landlord. It went really well with the landlord. We got it. We got it. Knowing that we're moving into our own place in a few weeks makes me feel a little more at ease, like we have somewhere to actually settle down and start building a life here. After storing their stuff in the band's recording studio, Sean and Marty borrowed a friend's van for their big move into their new place. Still waiting for the 60 boxes they had shipped across country, they didn't have a lot of furniture and were able to handle the stuff they did have by themselves to save some cash. When moving in with roommates, I always advise people to discuss the plans for furnishing the place before you move in. Sean and Marnie decided to wait for their roommates before tackling the common areas of the rental and are focusing on their own personal space for the time being. It's a good thing they're getting the biggest room in the house. To help them transform it into their private haven, I've promised a bedroom makeover worthy of a rock star. And I'm gonna do it all for less than half of their monthly rent on a $1,000 budget. My inspiration is a contemporary boutique hotel look. So we're getting rid of the teal walls and priming them for a coat of clean, classic charcoal gray. I sourced out a funky wallpaper that I got for a steal after asking about wallpaper ends at the store. Discontinued rolls or leftover ends are often available at inexpensive deals. Since I'm only doing two walls, I was able to get my hands on just enough. And I'm reusing a secondhand piece of furniture by sanding down the old finish and freshening it up with some new paint. An old desk can instantly be turned into a new vanity table with a little bit of elbow grease. After moving cross country to a city they've never called home, I just hope our living room turned bedroom is the retreat they need to settle into their new rental. Welcome to your new room. Oh my God! It looks beautiful. We love the room. Yep. Yeah. The feeling of the room is a lot like a boutique hotel. Uh, it feels really classic yet modern. The bright green walls have been replaced with a nice tranquil color that complements the rest of this rock star room. Unbelievable. I can't even believe it. Sean and Marnie thought that the makeover made their bedroom look like their favorite hotel in Hollywood. That's about the highest compliment I could receive. Oh my gosh, look at the chandelier. Marnie and Sean's bedroom is now clean, bright, and functional. Uh, I love the lamps. The lamps are gorgeous. One of the reasons why I did lamps all over the place was so that you're two people using a space and there's three distinct areas. So it means that wherever you are, you can light just one place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so if someone else is sleeping, you could be reading a book with this lamp on. Oh, look at the desk! That's where I can do That's my your vanity. vanity. Yeah. In my opinion, sharing a bathroom with three guys is less than desirable. With that in mind, I gave Marnie a vanity where she can apply her makeup in peace, quiet, and loads of natural light. My whole main idea with this space was to give Marnie a place that's an escape from Boyland. Check out the couch. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. I loved the little pillow. I thought it was a little bit rock star golf. Oh, yep. look. <laughs> I think this room totally reflects us. What do you think of the wallpaper? 
I love the wallpaper. Wallpaper can be expensive, but with only three rolls, you could cover one wall and create a really dramatic impact. It's really nice. Yeah, this is totally us. This is really great. What do you call that? It's faux fur. The bed will be the dog's new playground. Yeah, she'll definitely ruin the, the uh... fur fur rug. <laughs> yeah. All of the bedding in this room is inexpensive on its own, but by layering a bunch of different fabrics and materials, it gets a really great hotel chic feel. I love the curtains too. Mm -hmm. With the horizontal blinds, those are custom. And what they do is really filter the light and give you guys the privacy that you'll need. This is great. We love the entertaining space. It's nice and big, so we've got a bit of room in there. The rooftop deck is rooftop killer when it warms up. Awesome. We love the space, we love the kitchen. Jody and her team like totally cleaned up the whole house. Pulling this space together for Sean and Marnie was a delight. This room had really great bones, but it desperately needed a makeover. With only $925, we were able to turn this room into a glamorous hotel chic space, perfect for Sean and Marnie. I think this is gonna totally work for us to have a separate living space completely from yeah. the rest of the house and the boys. I'm actually leaving for tour tomorrow. So I'm glad that this is all good and you can enjoy this. For and, me. Yeah. And she can yeah. put everything away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely the fact that she's going to be happy here is uh, a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> We've been completely unsettled, so it's nice to finally be settled and get back to real life. We wouldn't have ended up with anything even close to as great as this uh, without your help. So thank you. My Thanks pleasure. Thanks. I'm just happy she's happy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna spend a ton of time in here. I'll be able to hide away and close the door. I can see this being my my little oasis. Oh, I thought we used this room for rehearsals. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs>